Welcome back to Nourishing Maine. I'm Mary Kate Rennie. And I'm Marge Kilkelly. And today we are joined by our good friend Diana Mosher. And Diana has taught both of us to make Needhams. And we're here for a refresher course because we want to make sure this Christmas we get them absolutely right. <laughs> and it was so much fun last year. Thank you for joining us. You're very welcome. I'm glad to be here. Yeah, the band's back together. Yes. It is. <laughs> yes. That's right. It's true. And we have a great time. So we're going to walk through what we need to do to make Needhams. And it's really hard, isn't it? Yes, terribly. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, you'll enjoy it. It's very easy, especially if you do it in the correct order. That is important. And we're paying attention. And we are paying attention. Of course attention. you are. Back in class. Back in class, that's right. <laughs> okay. But they make beautiful gifts and it's worth every minute. Right. Yes. It's fun. It is fun. So one of the things you told me was that you've actually changed some of your procedures yes. so that you are now melting chocolate first for the topping. Yes. yes. Chocolate takes a while to melt and it I does. learned that fairly quickly. <laughs> and so uh, I started so it's already ready to go and we're ready to fix the chocolate. On the back burner? Yes, it's it on, is. The back it's burner. on the back burner. And so in that chocolate mix, we've got some dark chocolate chips, mm -hmm. we've got blocks of chocolate, mm -hmm. and what's the secret ingredient in there? Paraffin. Ooh, paraffin. And we have a half Shiny. A, yes, and it makes it stick well, too. Oh, good. What was the quantity of chocolate for well, this batch? A full 12 ounce oh, good. of chocolate chips, and then four ounces of the regular chocolate it comes like that. But what you have to remember is the way they do it now is there's two of the chocolate together, but that is the one chocolate. Got it. So, so don't snap it in half thinking that. Well, you can, but count it first. Okay. <laughs> the reason you snap it in half is to get it to melt a little better. And you take your paraffin, and I, it took me quite a few lessons to figure this out. You, t you take your paraffin and you put it into um, small squares. You cut it up so it will melt better because it doesn't like to melt. And there's not mm. much, though. No. There's just no, a really small no. amount of paraffin in there. Great. So now that we've got the chocolate going, there's right. another amazing secret ingredient in Needham's. And what's that? Can I pick them up? Yeah. <laughs> yes, please do. This is potato. And that's why it's <laughs> such a nice main candy, because potato is a big part of it. And it, uh, is the recipe, how far back does it go in Maine? Do we, do we know? You know, when, when they were originated is what I'm trying to say here. There's even a little argument about <laughs> well, where there always they were is, born. right? There Maine <laughs> or Massachusetts. Ah, well, let's claim. Yeah, it's Maine. Let's take we're that. Just, we're just staying I'll there. let you do that. Okay. Nice. Okay. Um, so, it, quite a few years. Yeah. Quite a few years. But I wish I could tell you. I'm not sure. No, it's all right. So, and the other piece about it is there's also a story that there may have been such an enormous potato harvest that there was even a contest to figure out what they could do with potatoes. And this was one of the entries. I read that. And then there was a, a person who was running around preaching. His name was Needham. Yes. And so they thought, well, maybe if we use that name, we can, we can uh, capture some of that energy and, yes. and sell this product. Yes. So there's all kinds of stories. Right. He's the person from Maine. Yes. I love that they combined it with chocolate. OK, what can we do with the, the leftover match with day? I know, chocolate. Sure, <laughs> makes, sure. makes perfect Kindred sense. Kindred spirits, for sure. Well, the first thing we do is, like you saw, they're pretty big. We mash them. And maybe so we I'll, uh, peeled the potato and yes. boiled it, and now we're going to mash it, and then I'll mash. How's that? <laughs> I think she'll do a better job, and then that way I can add the salt. There you go. I knew I was going to get put to work, you know. <laughs> You're doing a really good job. This show is a fan <laughs> of mashed potatoes. We have, we have found <laughs> every way to use them. Yes. Yes, we... Uh, <laughs> I've learned how to mash potatoes really well in the last few months. <laughs> All right. See, I knew who to give it to. Look at that. Oh, this perfect. Perfect. Does perfect. the texture have to be really smooth at this point? At least as smooth as that. It can't okay. be big chunks. It no. has to be with small chunks. You, you want to really cook the potatoes, too. Yeah. So this that's is true, right. Yeah, right. I mean, they need, you don't want lumpy. 
No. So that looks about right, I okay, think. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little salt. Oh, okay, salt. yep. So a half a teaspoon salt, it says here. Right, you ready? I'm ready. I love the way we measure. She measures the same way we do, isn't oh, that great? Yeah, I no love wonder. Yeah. There you go, half a teaspoon. There we go. I think anybody that wears a nourishing main apron has to uh, <laughs> be somebody who knows how to measure by eye. <laughs> right. This is simply a prop. <laughs> it's to prove that I have them. Okay. There yeah. you go. We every have every them. kitchen should have them. They should. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you have to overuse them, though. No. All right. So, so that looks like potato. Yeah, you'll be ready when the time comes. All right. And then, Mary Kate, I'm going to have you toss that in the sink. Yes. And is it time for us to get the bowls out? It is. Well, it's time for you to melt the butter carefully. Okay. 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 Well, good and thing we on, did this. It's on the stove. It's on the stove. Through yes. the magic of television. Mm hmm. I'll put it up here. That's a good idea. Okay. And now this this part I have changed since the beginning. And I changed fine. and someone else told me, I'm so glad you did because when I did it the other way, it never worked. Mm -hmm. huh. So we start with the confectioner's sugar and the coconut. Well, okay. We can put them in the big bowl and then yes. split them. You got it. Yeah, because you really need to mix them. And you have a really nice spoon to mix that around with, right? I'm sure oh, we yeah. can find one. The whole bag? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Can you imagine? It makes a lot. It can make <laughs> up to 60. Well, We're like learning from the pro. I love coconut. Oh, I do too. It's so wonderful. And you'll see, I hope you have patience, because you'll see it takes a while. We really should do a good job. Okay. Here, I'm going to pass this to you, Marge. All right. We're back to good okay. smells again. I know. Yeah. All right. And Potato can go in now. I oh, like oh, to feel oh, it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can feel the right texture through the I spoon can. handle? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I really can tell. I'm not surprised. I'm sorry I'm fussy. Mm -mm. You should be. That's why we want to learn and we want <laughs> everybody else to know how to do it the right way. Well, you do have to mix the sugar and the coconut together pretty well. Would the powdered sugar clump and result in a it won't, need them no. that was Lopsided or be, No, I, I don't know about lopsided, but uh, <laughs> you, you do want it to be the sugar and the coconut to be kind of equal. Mm -hmm. So can you see mm -hmm. the coconut? Yeah. I want to be able to really see it. So you can barely tell that's how well mixed it is, the difference between the right. coconut and the powdered sugar. So you said, what was next? The potato was yes. next. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it. it's three quarter cup. I yeah. packed it. Yes, three quarters of a cup of potato yeah. so that had the salt with it. Right. I want it all. That's why I'm doing that. No. Yeah. Let's not skip on that. Thank you. I'm yeah, a look how good that I'm was. I'm a convert. Yeah, that was perfect. So, what you're going to see is as as you mix it in, mm -hmm. you really do have to get the potato to part oh. company. Otherwise, you'll get big lumps of potato. <laughs> that takes time too. So it's not hard to do. It just takes time. Mm -hmm. ah. You really don't want in one chocolate that much potato. Oh, good point. Because well, you'll have chocolate with no potato. And That's the potato what I must lend to the mouthfeel and how smooth the, yes. the candy is. Yes. It's such a fun candy, too. It really I mean, is. it really, and it's so much fun to give it to people who have never had it before. Yes. And it's like, oh, that's really delicious. And then, of course, you say, well, you know what's in it? There's potato in that. No, there can't be. Bragging okay, do rats. you want to try it a little bit now? Sure. I appreciate it. So the butter goes in later? Yeah, as you look, you'll see next is the vanilla. Mm -hmm. And then when you get it really mixed in, then you put the butter on. Okay. Well, I'll wait till you tell me. For the vanilla. Yeah. Do you see what I mean by getting the small pieces? Yep, I do. That's interesting. I hadn't really. Huh. You haven't done it for. I haven't so done it for many years. Whole year. <laughs> well, yeah, that's true. I mean, that's. But you know, so much of cooking is that way, though. Yeah. And I know, like when you've been here and and taught Needham classes, um, or you know, any other other classes that we do. I mean, one of the things about it is that you really do have to have the experience. It's harder to, right. um, you know, to read it in a book or something. So, you know, we're hoping that, you know, a lot of folks watching this will have the sense of the experience of doing it um, in order to be successful. And it's always good to try. Oh, yes. And even if you have a lump here and there of potato, it's not going to hurt it. No. It still tastes good. It still this tastes is just good. 
It's right, got but, a lot of sugar and coconut in it, after <laughs> all. How can it be bad? On, how can it be bad? Your experience in making these year after year, you know, you can tell by eye when it's undermixed, where someone else might just, right. you know, rush through it or have exactly. something to do. So it's really I'm gonna move that half vanilla the, just in case we end of up course. with Thank you very much. <laughs> Whoops. No problem. Trying to remember how much vanilla. <laughs> it's oh, two teaspoons. teaspoons. Thank you. Do you see what I'm saying? I do. I'm getting a little, I'm gonna get a little air in there there's a lot of sugar on the bottom. See that? Oh, oh. yeah. Good job. Mm-hmm. I learned from the best. See, that's why we're a team. Mm -hmm. I had the top really well, so now she's gonna, <laughs> she's gonna back clean up on this one and uh -huh. fix it. <laughs> well, this isn't the first time the three of us have been a team. No, it's not. That's true. We were the, the winners of the Wiscasa Chamber Charcuterie right. Board. We that. were. Yes. Yay. That's what I, <laughs> yep. That was fun. We had yes. a good time. We didn't have Needham's on the board, but we had your delicious cheese that you've made. That's right. Yeah. And I cheese. learned how to make that as well here yeah. with you. Yep. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. All right. You want to put it in? Sure. Okay. Should I sort of sprinkle it around? Yes, because of, that way it'll you have fun trying to mix it in. But that's the way it works. That's I don't know why. It just works really well. Well, it sure way. does absorb fast. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's probably part of it too. There. Well, I think that's a good idea because otherwise <laughs> there could be a lot of vanilla elbows, all over the place. My elbows would chuck that up. This would be a fun thing to do with kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they like to mix. Yeah. That's it, yeah. And I mean, it's, it's right and you know, we you. keep talking about, you know, quick and easy Christmas presents right. and, you know, to be able to spend an afternoon with kids and make these and then um, you know, package them and give them to folks for Christmas presents would be just such a fun thing. Plus, you can go do your Christmas shopping without leaving home, which mm -hmm. I'm a real fan of, by the way. Me too. I like to do that. <laughs> and the, um, you know, the presentation in the little boxes, which we'll get to, um, makes such a gor gorgeous present. Yeah. I, I delivered them to um, several of my older neighbors. Yeah. They love them. Now, do you, do you feel it's mixed through? I'm feeling like it's definitely yeah. clumping. I do see yeah. the brown, um, the vanilla. So, what do you think? I think we're okay. Ooh, I like that. So, what, I'm just making now sure I'm the doing butter. the right thing. So, you've got it mixed in really well, right? I, I do. Now, I'm going to pour this over it with okay. my right hand. So, it's pretty, there's lumps and it's, the sugar's definitely melting a little bit. What did we say about the butter? How much to put in? Do, did we say something about it? Yeah, it's a half cup. One Which stick. Is one, one stick. stick. That's why I want to tell you Still. What. Still, <laughs> still one stick because it took me a while to realize that's what it was and I'm measuring and then that was like two or three. You're being precise. Well, it was, but With it your, didn't take me too long. No. Look at her, she's just. She's very good. <laughs> well, it's starting to look like says, a center yeah. of a candy. Do you ever do it ready. with your hands? This, yes, <sighs> yes I have. Because <laughs> it hasn't been quite enough. So, yeah, but I wasn't sure you'd want to see that on TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what the first... Well, you, gave, you gave a very good shortcut when people at home would decide to do this. Um, yeah, but it's it's hands, yeah, but hands are the very first cooking tool. Well, you can, pe you can feel it. Yeah. So it's really good. Do you want her to take a t turn? Yes. Yeah, I thought maybe. <laughs> and I can, too, if you want. I just think it's fun telling you guys what to do. <laughs> So again, it's by feel and sight. It's not necessarily a time. No, no. Yeah. You, the big deal is to really get it mixed. Gotcha. See how it's beginning to look like the middle of a... It is. Yeah, that's and what it you need. And it smells like, I mean, it's... You know, we're back to butter and sugar and <laughs> coconut. And, I yeah, mean, my, my dog really likes the smell of this. <laughs> <laughs> is that right? Well, we're experienced with the butter and sugar. And the, yeah. yeah. There you go. Marsh. Looking pretty good to me. It does look good. So what we're going to need is the uh, whatever we want to put it into. Okay. Here's the pan. So you're going to put some in a pan. I am. All right. I am because that's the way my aunt did it. Oh well, that's because they didn't have these. Yeah. <laughs> these are the ones I got first. I I love these. I really love these. They they do such a good job. That's a perfect size. Isn't it? Yes, it's a good it size. is. We're going to be putting half of that in here. Yeah, we probably yeah. should start. And then with the that. small spoons for this. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll wait. I can't wait to see. Yeah. I, need some help my, at all? My mom used to do it like this. Really? A spatula? Yeah, yeah I, remember, um, I remember my aunt doing it like this. And I'll hold the paper. We're going to take a spoon 
And I remember in the class you talk about just pushing it down. Yeah, you got to use your fingers. Probably why I like these so much. <laughs> it's fun to use your fingers. And but not that, too high, okay? Okay. Because you'll, you'll have fun when you try to put the chocolate on. Oh, all right. Well, but what I loved about the presentation with the mold is the sharp corners. Because yes. when you pour the chocolate over, it's just so... Yeah. So when you put chocolate on the top of this marge, is mm. that where the chocolate goes? Um, I'm going... What I'll do is I will, I'm going to cut them and put them on a rack and pour oh. chocolate over them. She remembers. Which is... Yep, yeah, that's the way. She remembers. Yeah, you don't have to have fancy mats. But it's nice. It is nice. And you do refrigerate them. Yes. Well, freeze them. Either. Freeze them. And now you put them in the freezer for a little while. Put the first one in. Do the second one. Put that in. And take them in order when you're ready to put chocolate over them. Because you don't want them to get too soft. No. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I, I think I'm finished. All right. If you want to eyeball that and see this. Yeah, that looks lovely. Okay. That's wonderful. Great. Now, where does it go? It goes in the freezer. You're right. All right. When we get this one done, we will move them to the move them to the freezer. No, actually, I do that one first. Oh, okay. And that way, once we get this one finished, we put it in, and it's the second one we take out. Got it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, yeah. But I'm sorry. I kind of like we're paying attention playing with them with my fingers. Well, you, that feel that you said, right? You know how much is the right amount in each one. So the stirring and the making sure that the ingredients are mixed together is the hardest very, part. Very, very important. Yeah. And the, um, melting the chocolate appropriately. You know, sometimes that can seize up and stuff, right? Right. <laughs> I right. mean, I... Sometimes you don't have the right <laughs> proportions. Yeah. Just so. saying. So we uh, melted the chocolate in a double boiler. Yes, yes we did. Yeah. That's the easiest way and probably yeah. the safest way, right? Right. So I need to line this pan. Yep. Line that with the with parchment. parchment paper. And I'm coming... Trouble it's so hard, isn't it? To make the corners tight with those right. edges I was it just bragging out. about. I bet there's a Joe way to do this. I bet there is. We should ask Joe. Let's. Let's. I also have another Joe way that a friend of mine, Katie Thayer, showed me. When I'm baking, I used to just take the parchment paper and stuff it into the pan, and it would never stay there. And she showed me to take it simple, real simple, take a pair of scissors and cut in on the corners. And when you do that, you'll notice that when you put it into the pan, you can see that they overlap they seal in the corners, and it stays in your pan. And when you cut it, all you're doing is cutting in a diagonal from the corner so that when it goes into the pan, it will, when you push it into the pan, it just rolls itself over both ways and makes your corner. So then we just lay it in the pan, poof. And that's the Joe way. Have a good day. This fits a whole lot better. Thanks, Joe. Oh, that's so good, isn't it? I know. The corners are going to go in right and tight. And now I need some help to go ahead. fill this in. There we go. Hack it in. All right. All that deliciousness. Hospital corners. Yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, it Sorry. really is a great Joe way. Oh, those are going to look great. They will. Oh. And yes. the parchment stands right up. It does. Yep. It's and I bet it's going to be easier to lift it out oh, of that, too. Oh, for sure. Too. Yeah. Yep. What do you think? I think I want that corner to be a little thicker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Has to be your approved. It is a little domey. That's all right. Good? Yep. Into the freezer it goes. All right. So they've been in the freezer because it's really important that they be firm. really firm yes. in order to do that because otherwise, like we said, they would just end up falling apart. So some of them we've put into a small mold 
um, and we're going to pop those right out of the mold. And then this is the one that has the hospital corners. Yes. And we will be cutting this before we frost. Yes. 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 This will get cut. But look. Whoo. Yay. Is that just absolutely just adorable? Mm -hmm. There. Perfect corners and an easy lift. All right. Would you like to go get the chocolate? I am happy to. And I will get the pan to put them in. All right. And there's our wonderful chocolate. And here's the melted chocolate waiting I, I for the... I need to stir it. Do we okay. need to give it a stir? Yeah, yeah. we do. We will. I got a spoon right yep, here. That's right. fine. Here, if you here. don't, it's liable to be stuck to the bottom. Got oh, it. okay. So you won't have Even it. though it's in a double boiler. Yeah. yeah. But that looks pretty good. Right. And yeah. I can lift it with the pot holder. If you can see the how glossy that is. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> and what you do is you just put the toothpick inside it so that you can take it and you can put it in the chocolate and pretty well cover it, which is what you want to do. And, it goes and how long right. do you let it drip like this before you put it down? I, I like to let, let it, it drip a bit. Yeah. Otherwise, you seriously, you run out of chocolate. So then I put that one there. Look at that. And then what I do is do another one. You want to hold that up for me again? Of course. Come on, you. Get that little seam up at the top. Yep. You got there it. There we go. So then I let it drain a while. Mm -hmm. But what I do, because I like to save money, <laughs> is I put this one here, and this one's done. So I use it for the <laughs> next one. Oh, that's perfect. That's, that's just such you wonderful. Do you want to try one? Sure, I'd love to. Frugal Manor. Yes. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Oh, hey. That that's what we're all about. We are. Well, you let it drip quite a bit because, see, that one, I, I didn't wait quite long enough. It doesn't oh, matter. It tastes good. I was <laughs> we, what is the edge called? Like a, sh like a shoe? Isn't it called a shoe on something? Ooh. Like, I like having that rim of chocolate, but it's probably not as... I think it's a delightful thing. Now is so, it your turn? Uh, yes, and I'm going to show you, so these... Okay, you do it like that. I do it like this. I can't believe you don't get the... Well, you do. Well, it probably takes a while to kind of get it. Yeah. But I want to see that it doesn't. Ah! I made a mess. Well, the next time, I'm going to be dry resourceful one, huh? and use this. Go ahead. Just about it that deep. Yeah, it doesn't have to go very not deep. Too, not too Going far. Going back to your way. But you don't want to drop it back in either. That's good demo. Yeah. It is lovely. Okay. All right, I'm going to do it the Diane way now, just because I've had my I've had my fun. Oh. I might try that though. I'll just see if. It's... Maybe it took me a few to get it to work, but okay. those particular those particular tongs. When I did a batch on my own, it just really worked well because they're so fine at the end. Are you wanting to eliminate the, the toothpick hole? Yeah, because what was, you have to do. It was more... Oh, to do that while it, it's still melty? What you have to do. Oh, yeah. you plug it. Yes, you have to go over Oh. and plug them in. Oh, there you I'm go. I'm a little better when I'm a little closer. Here, I will. Oh, we can make them. I went it doesn't really I matter. I went too deep with this one. I don't think it really matters. I think yeah. that I'm gonna use the better it tastes, you don't care. Yeah, that's the way. That's a little better. Let's see here. Oh, these are gorgeous. Did you know that this is the main state candy? I think it's wonderful that it's become the main state candy. I do too. I'm and to help. You thank you. I think I know somebody that um, was pretty much involved in all of that. Oh, God. And, and she's um, sometimes the official Needham's tester to make sure that, you know, that all the folks making Needham's are making them up to the standard that the state wants. So I think I can that Representative up. Stover, who is chair of the state and local government committee, I think Holly should come right over. Yeah, she hasn't given a chance to. Holly. Holly. Hey. Hey. Oh. Perfect timing. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being here, Holly. Thank you. Yes. For inviting me. Of course. So I think you had something to do with this Needham Declaration. Well, as the chair of the state and local committee, um, government committee, uh, we had a bill last year, and actually to make the last Saturday of every month of September, May Needham Day. Well, there. Oh. And so it isn't just the state candy. It has its own special day and a proclamation signed by the governor <laughs> and signed into law. 
It's legitimate. In, this, in our state, <laughs> the last Saturday of the month will be celebrated this confection. Yay. That's very great. And when we had our hearings in our committee, we had people come from all over the state and they talked about making needles with their grandmothers and with mm -hmm. their aunts yeah. and that it was a Christmas tradition in their families. Yeah. And as much as food um, nourishes us, it also feeds our soul. Oh, and that's yeah, what they nice. talked about, why they love Needham so much. History makes... And Nourishing Maine is all about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so right. let's, let's taste, shall we? Well, okay, thank you. This one looks good. Diane, are you going to try? We all have to... Cheers, yes. Yes, okay. we all have to do all our right. cheers. Cheers to Needham's. Cheers, cheers to, to Needham's. Needham's. Good friends. Yay. Yay. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Crazy good. Mm. Very good. You guys did a good job. Thank Great you job. for bringing the recipe and for doing all the work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to show the boxes? Oh, of course. Where are the boxes? This is mine. I'm That's yours. Right here. You can keep that one. Here we go. So if oh. you take a class here, Diane, these are those beautiful gift boxes that we were talking about. They fit, I don't know, 12 at least, oh. a dozen of them. And then tie them up with a ribbon, and they make great hostess gifts or gifts for neighbors. Or if you're if you want to make them with your kids again on a Sunday afternoon, mm -hmm. um, you know, make them with your kids and and put them in little boxes, and they're great Christmas presents, and they're great a great main story. And you could even put something in there about the fact that they are the main state candy. So. Yay. Yay. And thank you, Representative. Yes, thank you. Thank, you, thank you for inviting me. This was great. And here's to the Maine Needham. All thank right. You. Thank you for joining thank us you. at Nourishing Maine. See you next time. Bye.